Well, hello and welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Today, we're on our way to the workshop to see what Mr. Paul has got to do to keep the beautiful smile on the beautiful face of Miss Ochin Brasilia Le Booth. And guess what? Today, we're in one of these. Yes, the rampant rabbit is alive, going like the clappers. It's never driven so well. I understand it may be a little bit noisy for the camera because it is a small little Fiat and we are blasting down the highway at around about 130 kilometers an hour. So that's about 85 miles an hour. Anyway, behind me is Gumbaru number one. The brother, he is in a diesel little Yaris. Nice little car actually. But anyway, very, very busy day today. I'm just gonna show you the view as we come towards the body shop. There's a little bit of traffic because it's very early. So the next exit we're going to take, and then we're going to take a right and then a left straight into the compound and we're going to go and see what the Gumbarus are up to. And as I say, it's a very busy today, we've got about four cars to bring in and we've got about six cars to take back. How we're going to do it, I don't know. But like I say, we're going to damn well try, that's for sure. Here we go. difficult to film and drive with a manual car but I'm doing my best there we go now we're into second check left check right check left again we're clear and now we're gonna go into the compound I don't know the gun barrow in front This time we'll go right because there's quite a few cars gone left, that's by the looks of it. We are quite early in the morning and there's quite a bit of, well, business traffic on the road, shall we say. Well, what can you say? All the Gambaros have not arrived yet, that's for sure. Look at that. We've beaten every single Gambaro. Well, we'll go and have a walk around some of the cars while we wait for the Gumbarus to arrive. <laughs> like I say, very, very flexible working hours we do. <laughs> but if you understand, last night, in fact, we were here till about eight o'clock at night. Well, I wasn't. I came and visited them twice, but they were here very late. Now, let's go and have a look at this little Ford, because this is one of the cars that's going back today. There we are. Look at that. That's Mr. Smart's Ford, which featured in a previous video. And as you can see, that car has had quite a lot of work done to it. All the roof has been done. All the rear wings have been done. All of the rear bumper has been done. All of the rear boots have been done. Half of that side's been done. There's the Gumbaru over there. He's arrived. There's Gumbaru number one. And this is a car that we've just brought in. It's had a bit of a punch in the front there, cracked a bit on there, stretched it across the top there, and of course it's now misaligned, and then the back is even worse. Had a punch, misaligned it all. There's some damage where people have been loading, and then there's where the brunt of the damage is. And now when you drive down the highway, this flops around. So the gentleman wants that all fixed, obviously. Let's go and have a look at the lady's car that looked back and saw nothing, and then looked back and there was a tree in the back of her car. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Now that's what you call close parking. That's for sure. Anyway. Let's go and say Calimera. Calimera. You alright? Good? Good morning. Good morning. Oh, he's a Russian man. No, it's a Russian man. No, it's not. No, it's not. Here they are. Whoa, here they are. They've all arrived. Every Gumbaru on the planet has arrived. Here he is. Hello, my friend. What do you think of Mr. Putin? What do you think of Mr. Putin? Oh, he doesn't like Mr. Putin very much. Let's go and say hello to the greatest car body workman in the world, Athan Asathlan. Here he is. Everyone's arriving except for the two Gumbaru mechanics. That's. Mr. Suvlerman and the Shishka boy, but I'm sure they're on the way. 
because we are early, if you understand, very, very early. And last night was a late night, like I said. I just want to go show you this car over here because this car has got one of those things on it, which means that you're probably going to be all right. Look at that. It's got a H on it. Wow, wonderful car. One of the greatest cars that the world has ever seen. Now, a few people have asked about this, and there it is. There it is. Look at that. The Rampant Rabbit. What do you think of the Rampant Rabbit? Excellent car. Excellent car. It goes like the absolute clappers. We went to see a man yesterday to pick up a Ford Fiesta. Well, to quote a man for Ford Fiesta, we're going to pick it up on Monday. And he came out and he said, what a great car. And I said, do you want to buy it? And he said, no, I've got one. And he's got the Abarth version. And he's a mechanic. And he told me that it's an absolutely fantastic car. Because I told him all my problems. And he said, well, you just had bad luck. Because he's actually from New Zealand here on holiday. And he's been here for a month. Goes back next week. Hence why he wants his hire car fixed and he's going to retire to Cyprus in a couple of years because he's bought a property here and he works on loads of these he said it's a hugely popular car in New Zealand and he's got 20 to 30 customers with them and he's never had any problems with them and he thinks they're an absolutely fantastic car and like I say he's got the Abarth version which means they're very very fast one so this one's not slow and like I say I fell out of love with it but to be honest over the last day I've fallen back in love with it. I do like that little car, and I'm now gonna get it in the body shop in the next couple of weeks and get it all done up. Now, here's a car that came in from Mr. McCluskey, which had a minor little graze there, which has been prepped and primed last night. <laughs> and there's the rear bumper on this one, which was featured in another video. That's now all fixed. All the cars are in the workshop, as you can see. We keep 90% of the cars in here. Mr. James, if you're looking, there's your pickup. We keep 90% of the cars in the workshop. There are more cars in there. And if we can't keep them safe, we rack them and stack them over in that corner and we do have a camera watching there because, well, crime is on the increase, but hopefully it won't get to the levels that it is in the UK and America. So that's it for now. I'll leave you on a fade out of one of my favorite symbols in the whole world, and that is a H. I'd like to say thank you for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe, and please come back for some more of my madness. Thanks very much for watching. There it is.